everybody and good Thursday morning to, to you meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Some heavy rainfall overnight last night and in fact uh, uh, one thing I'll do real quick is I want to show you the uh, amounts of rain we had according to uh, our radar estimates here. Uh, some heavy rainfall over the last 12 hours here, especially look at that area between Kearney and Lexington earlier this morning. Uh, there were rainfall rates for a time of around two to three or uh, two inches per hour and so because of that there is a flash flood warning in east central uh, Buff or Dawson County and far west central uh, Buffalo County and that goes till 9.30 this morning. Rainfall estimates of around 5 to 6, 7 inches of rain between the Miller, Sumner and Overton area there and there's also some uh, other areas surrounding that are under a flood advisory uh, until either 10.30 or excuse me 10.15 this morning or 9.30 this morning there in parts of uh, western D Buffalo County, eastern Dawson County, Phelps County and also uh, looking at northeast Gosper County. So some heavily hit areas. Now the rainfall is wrapping up actually here. In fact, I'll go back real quick here to uh, our satellite radar or satellite radar imagery here over the last 12 hours. Notice how things are winding down. So the, our future cast product is a little off here. It's overestimating the amount of rain that's still left. We're down to mostly just light rain, hit or miss thunderstorms the rest of the days. It's not the rest of the day today. It's not out of the question that somebody gets a hit or miss shower or thunderstorm out there. Partly to mostly cloudy with a little more sunshine towards the end of the day compared to earlier in the morning hours here. As we get into tonight, still can't rule out some isolated shower and thunderstorm activity. Most favorite areas, northern Kansas and the western parts of the area, it would be very hit or miss. The chances Although small, we'll continue tomorrow, again, favoring those areas west and south of the Tri-Cities. A couple of cooler, more comfortable days, still a little humid, but not as hot. Uh, starting on Saturday, we'll start to bring in a little more heat to the area. We'll get to that seven-day forecast here in just a bit. But for today, looking at lower 80s up north, partly to mostly cloudy, a small chance of a lingering shower or thunderstorm. It's not a very good chance the rest of the day today. Out west, a lot of mid-80s for highs. Partly to mostly cloudy, still a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms. Same thing to the south, favoring northern Kansas, a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms. Partly to mostly cloudy with temperatures low to mid 80s and maybe even upper 80s there in northern Kansas. And to the east again, mostly low to mid 80s, but maybe upper 80s in a few locations. Partly to mostly cloudy, a still a small chance of rain and thunderstorms. Next couple of days, again, the chances of rain and thunderstorms are very small, no higher than about a 20 to 30 percent chance. So we have seen most of our rain now come to an end. We get a couple of somewhat cooler days, still a little humid. And then uh, after that last chance of rain Saturday morning, our chances really start to disappear as heat, start, not heat, but warmer temperatures build in. Upper 80s and lower 90s for highs on Saturday through the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And we go mainly dry. It looks like from Saturday afternoon onward, the chances of rain are extremely slim. It looks like maybe some chances try to return as we get towards the end of next week around Thursday or Friday. So yeah, lows in the mid and upper 60s around 70, highs in the mid to upper 80s, lower 90s. That's pretty typical for this time of the year. So hopefully you got some good rain. Hopefully you didn't get too much rain because yeah, things are going to kind of quiet down when it comes to those rain chances. We'll have to start getting back to the sprinkler systems again before too long. So there you go. There is your forecast for today, this Thursday. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless.